What's going on everybody? It is Thursday and that's right. It is time once again to bring back our How to Pitch With series. Every single Thursday during the MLB The Show 23 game cycle, I taught you how to pitch with a new pitcher in the game. No duplicates, no repeats, new pitcher every single week. And that is right, it's back, and we are starting off with a brand new legend. It's Mr. Johan Santana taking the bump today in events. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Kenny, and in this How to Pitch With series, you don't see traditional gameplay. You don't see any of my at-bats. This is not about hitting. Instead, you will see every single pitch I throw with Johan Santana. The goal of these videos is to educate you. It's to teach you how to sequence pitches, how to tunnel pitches, how to induce weak contact, basically just how to best use a pitcher's repertoire to help you win games. If you find these videos helpful, make sure you subscribe and comment down below which pitchers you'd like to see me use in the next video. I can't guarantee I'll get to every single request, but the requests help. Let's go take a look at Johan and win a couple games. As you all can see here, let's point out the glaringly obvious fact first. Yes, I have already P5 Johan Santana. I've yet to throw a single inning online. This is all CPU. I finished every single conquest. I went 38 and one. You see, I lost the game there, but his, his arm was hanging off. I pitched every single conquest game with Johan Santana. Why was that? Well, I was excited to use a new legend, but I also really wanted to learn how to use lefty pinpoint. And the best way to do that is reps. It's practice. And we got plenty of them with Johan. So Johan's got a smooth delivery, a real nice circle changeup. I love that they gave him sinker cutter. I feel like they were probably a little generous with cutter. Uh, the four seamer's only 94. It's not gonna blow you away, but it is good. And when we're talking attributes, his break is insane. His control and BB per nine for where we're at in the game cycle are strong. Stamina's gonna be good. Pitch and clutch is great. He's a good fielder, 90 fielding at P5. That's fantastic. Basically, Johan Santana, I know in real life he was a strikeout king. In this game, he's a soft contact king. So my goal is to get a couple event games in. It's too early to get into ranked. I haven't even played a ranked game yet, and it's a disaster out here during early access. I'm recording this during early access. Every single online game is sweaty. So if we go into events, it'll be a little less crazy. It's also important to note here while we're queuing into a game that not every single one of these videos has to be like truly results based, right? We're just looking for process. We're looking for sequencing. Sometimes a good pitch is going to get hit on a good swing. So with that in mind, let's put Johan on the mound and let's go pitch. And our first opponent in this video is going to be the Philadelphia Moose. And we are on the road. So we're going to hit first. I'll see you when I pitch. All right, we put up a five spot in the first. And so it is time to pitch with Johan. His circle change is going to be devastating for people. So we're going to use that in two strike counts. But what we like to do with the cutter is set him up inside. So hopefully they then stare at this sinker. That was bad pinpoint input, but still not a bad spot. I've gotten pretty good with lefty pinpoint. I feel like you have to trace it slower than you think you need to. That's okay. It's two and two. Like I said, everybody's kind of still getting used to it. Go back to this cutter inside. Johanna gets a righty. We're living inside. Until we get to two strikes. And then we're throwing this devastating circle change. Way out in front. Way, way out in front. Tony Stone's a little tiny. So let's change your eye level. Let's throw it up. Hey, it wasn't a strikeout like I hoped it would be, but Stanton got there and we got one out. Look at that weak contact. We threw a few more pitches than I would have liked. Six pitches in the at-bats a lot, especially in a three-inning event, but we'll live with it. We're going to go down to this sinker low and away. That was a much better input there. What a dot. What a beautiful pitch. I like to use this slider even up in the zone a little bit, as long as it's inside. I mean, that was just a Derek Jeter inside out. Jammed hit. I'd love to see the feedback. I'd love to see the feedback. He was clearly jammed on the fists. No big deal. Yeah, late. Didn't get it in as much as I wanted to, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get an early in the count circle change, rollover, double play. Because that's another thing that Johan's going to be great at. Is Oh, I messed up the pinpoint there. We're learning. We're learning. Uh, another thing Johan's going to be great at is getting double plays. Because his pitches move so much. So let's try to get one here. 3-0. I'm not going to throw a 3-0 fastball. I feel like everyone is going to be sitting on that. And look, a 3-0 changeup worked. Lazy fly ball to right field. Guys, these videos, by the way, will get better as the year goes on, as we all get better with pinpoint. We're all learning together. Let's go the slider in, but this time actually get it in. Much better spot. I'm okay to miss if I'm at least executing. I'm okay with that. 
Back to the cutter, less break. This guy's got a good eye. Samuelito's got a very good eye. Excellent sinker. And he was all over that. Can James Wood make a play? James Wood is going to make a play. Oh, held him to one and held him at second. Nice job. That is a single that very easily could have been a double. So now against a lefty, finally we get to face a lefty. I'm going to show you guys how to get him out. We're going to try to get him ahead of a cutter outside. It's slow. It moved. Very nice. Perfect spot. Early swing. Exactly what we wanted. I'm going to go to it again, but I want it farther out this time. It wasn't really farther out. James Wood might be able to make a play on this, too. Ah, just a little bit above. All right. Sinker up and in. Here we go. Get it in. It was low. That's okay. Slider now. Out of the zone, please. The eyes are immaculate. We're throwing halfway decent pitches here. I'm going back to the sinker. There we go. Jammed him in. That was not beautiful, but it worked. And uh, I'm not going to show you any more of this game because he's gassed. I'm just going to pick it up in the next one. All right. Welcome back to game number two where we are the home team. So we're going to do exactly what we were doing in the last game, but now at home. Circle change away to start. Nice pitch. Nice spot. He was still early on it, even though it looked like he waited back. Let's bring that cutter in on the fists. Okay, still early on it. So he's been very early twice, or at least early twice. I'm going to actually bury a change up here and see if we get the chase. And it's okay. Smart pitch still. Change the eye level, and now we see if we blast the fastball up. Nice job. Please don't get down, I swear. Whew. Fielding has been rough a little bit early this year. Not in like a broken way, but just in like a lot of balls get down type of way. Uh, this guy's hitting an incredible batting average with Byron Buxton, so I'm going to put a sinker outside and see if he rolls this over. Okay, he waited back on it. That's that's knowledge. That's research that we've just done. He is looking to shoot that pitch the other way because he knows what he's doing. So let's bring a slider in on the hands. What a spot. Oh, all right. Let's get him to expand. I love to try to get people to expand for a grounder on two strikes. It's fine if he takes. Not a big deal. This is a risk but I want to put the circle change in and see what happens. Oh my goodness, what a pitch, what a spot. Pinpoint has been great so far in this inning. There's two away. And now we got a lefty, a scary one, but we got a lefty. Some, sometimes people expect a cutter away from a lefty to a lefty. So we're going to back it up with a sinker that comes the other way. Notice how late he was. He kind of thought the cutter was coming. But now we've got him he, he confused. He's got no idea what's coming. Cutter comes back. There we go. There we, there we go. I'm going to throw him a slider a little high, hopefully out of the zone. Otherwise, it's crushed. Great pitch. Great missed spot. That's fine. He's away, away, away. He's not ready for in, I hope. So here it comes. Bad pinpoint. That, now we're screwed because that was not the pitch to miss on. Um, let's just go circle change away. It's our bread and butter to lefties and righties. Beautiful, beautiful rollover. Uh, I'm going to try to pitch the second inning with Johan, so I'll see you when I'm pitching again. Turns out it's on to game number three as our opponent went down a run and couldn't handle the smoke. So game number three incoming. All right, we had a horrible first inning at the plate, so hopefully that means our opponent will stay and play with me for a little while. Nothing new here. Cutter inside to a righty. Very nice. Weak contact. He did turn on it, though. That's good information. He was not jammed on it. He was a little on the early side, but it was weak. Still, we got to use that on the... It was actually a good swing, technically, so his PCI was just nowhere near it. Let's start with a sinker in this time. Good pitch, good spot. Nice pinpoint as well. Slider away instead of the cutter. A little slower. What a miss. I mean, what a take, but also what a miss. Um, I'm going to go back to this sinker inside, hopefully a little higher this time. Pinpoint much better. There we go. Jammed him. And he's out. Notice we're not getting strikeouts with Johan. Maybe in ranked on higher difficulties, you will. But on All-Star, he's not going to be somebody who blows anybody away. Another lefty. Slider to Sean Green. Hey, he's spitting on him. Good for him. Good for him. Let's go circle change. Mm, pinpoint's not great. Don't hang. Could take again. Okay. Okay. We're going to take a risk with a four seam up and away. We haven't shown him that yet. Okay, he's late on it. He probably thought that was a cutter or a slider. That's why it was a good pitch. Um, he hasn't hasn't proven to me that he can turn on a sinker yet. Let's go for it. 
I mean, this guy's got incredible eyes, though. What a pitch. Carter away. If we walk him, we walk him. He hit the piss out of it, but I'm pretty sure James Wood with the boost, the Buxton boost is getting there. All right, another nice job. He hit that pretty well, but still weak contact for the most part. Johan is being is being incredible so far. I hit into a bases loaded. Double play. So now I need Johan to keep shoving it. Let's see if we can get him to swing on a cutter off the plate in. We can. Josh Gibson's batting effect scares the crap out of me every time he swings the bat. It sounds like I'm being shot at. Okay. Oh, look how early he was on that. You know what that means? We're doubling up, but this time below the zone. Chase me. Oh, he did. He did. That was a good pitch. All right. Um, I mean, he hasn't proven that he'll swing at this yet, but it's still worth a shot. Get him to expand. Not a great spot. This is an enormous risk, but it's something different he hasn't seen. Backdoor cutter. Low on the pinpoint. Still a good pitch, though. Can't complain about it. You want to chase on the slider, please? Beat me into the ground? How, how are we taking these pitches, Mr. Opponent, sir? How? Sergeant Schmegma. Schmegma, his name is. Sergeant Schmegma. All right, this is an enormous risk. Maybe we spot it. Nope, he hit the crap out of it. Yeah, that was one of those hell at bats where I just assumed everything was going to go wrong. He was spitting on every good pitch I was making. So, Johan is basically gassed, but I'm going to let him get this lefty. Cut her away. I mean, I know I've said it a million times, but this, this guy's eye is great. His takes are incredible. That was a great swing there. Is he going to try it for home? He's not. We hit the cutoff, man. We back pick him there because I'm a genius. I'm a genius. We got one away. That's a huge out for Johan. But unfortunately, his day is going to be done. So I'll see you guys in this next inning. We're going to go one more. All right, Johan lost that game on a sack fly. I also got hoed a little bit on some good, good outs. But whatever, we had more hits than our opponent. One last game for Johan, and then we'll go wrap it up. We dropped the four spot. So our final frames here for Johan, we're starting with a sinker away. Great pitch. Okay, our opponent's late. That's good information. Will you chase a back foot slider? I need that pitch to work. Okay. That was a little on the plate. That was very on the plate. But that's a pitch that really expands Johan's arsenal, and that's what will make him more of a strikeout pitcher. Strikeout. Um, that back foot slider, getting people to chase on it, is going to be absolutely massive if you can make it work. Slider away to Griff. That was a weird inside outy swing, but whatever. Two away. Santana's cooking after that... Really tough luck loss in the last game. I'm actually very upset about that, but it's only events, so it doesn't matter. Again, we're still getting the hang of all the new intricacies of online play, and especially lefty pinpoint. Plus, it just seems like people aren't swinging the bat. I think people are just going up there to take. Or their eyes have gotten much better, and, and mine have stayed the same, either way. Circle change. Okay, we got very lucky on that. And here's where this back foot slider hopefully is going to actually yield us a strikeout. Bury it, baby. Absolutely! That's the spot. One more inning for Johan if this guy doesn't quit. All right, back on the bump. Cutter into Nolan Arenado. He kills lefties, so let's be careful. Okay. Just late on the plate, though. I want that off the plate. I'm missing just a little bit. Sinker below the zone. Very nice. Sinkers below the zone, that's another pitch that if that's working and you're getting grounders, you're cooking. You're not struggling at all because that's a great equalizer. Runner gets on base, ground ball, double play. It... it just escapes you out of innings. It's so helpful. But we're going to go to the slider again. Now, I'm going to say the thing that people are saying already in their heads. Your opponent's not great. And that is probably pretty true. It's, it's semi-factual here because we can tell he's expanding the zone and whatever. But the processes are still working. Even if our opponent is bad, if I hang a pitcher, I make a bad decision. It's cracked. It's gone. We're still making good. That was a weird swing. A sword, even. We're still making good choices. Slider. Another one, two, three for Johan. Three weak grounders. Might we try him for a third? Maybe. All right, let's go for the ultimate bit of redemption for Johan after that weird loss in the last game. And that's a terrible way to start. I mean, a perfectly executed circle change just flipped in the right field. All right, well, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I told you the sinker below the zone is going to be great for double plays. Let's get one here. Uh, we might not get it because of Teo's speed, but hey, 
That was pretty close. It was pretty close. Let's see if we could try it again. Chaz McCormick, he's not as fast as Teo, right? Let's see. I mean, 69 speed. Very nice. And a double play. Roll it up. CG for Johan to close the video. So across four event games, six and a third innings, Johan only let up that one run. That double by Josh Gibson, he eventually scored on a sack fly. He's got a .79 whip. We got two strikeouts in the last game. We rolled a double play. We got a ton of weak contact. We did everything that Johan is supposed to do. This was my choice out of the pre-order pack. At the time of this recording, he's pretty cheap on the market right now. By Thursday, when you guys are watching this, there's that influx of new players. I'm actually expecting his price to go up a little bit. But if you have some stubs laying around and you're looking for a good pitcher, I think Johan is great early in the game. He's probably top five right now, maybe top three. And that is going to do it for the first How to Pitch with video of MLB The Show 24. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know who else you guys want to see. And let me know if you guys have any suggestions just about this video series in general. Last year, everybody found it very helpful. I hope the same rings true this year. Thank you guys for making it to the end. I love you all, and I will see you next time.